hello students in this video I am going to explain and demonstrate how to determine the FWHM parameters UBW which are instrumental parameters basically used in the Redville refinement process in the present example I have taken the data of means XRD data of lanthanum hexaboride to calculate the this caglutic function okay Cagliotti function and by fitting this function we can calculate uh, in x-axis we can put this FWHM parameter this Lorentzian and Gaussian contributions and in y-axis we have 2 theta or theta it's up to your choice and we will determine the UBW parameters okay so let's start the fit uh, how I calculate it so first of all we need the XRD data of lanthanum hexaboride this is the XRD data from each of the peak what we are going to do we are going to calculate uh, what we will do we will fit each peak using a void function and we will calculate the FWHM contribution for Gaussian and Lorentzian ok so we have to collect the data for each and every peak so in my XRD data uh, I will show there are many picks so around 17 picks I have used the data so let me import the data first so file import single asking then yeah this is the result so for each two theta value I have obtained the Gaussian and Lorentzian components okay so for each peak there is a Gaussian component Lorentzian component you can determine it by using a void function so I am going to use x axis as theta not two theta so I will put it as set as sorry set the column values here a as um, two theta divided by two okay this is fine then uh, let me plot it so this is the way the graph must look so now you fit the data you put control y so the equation is already written in the ppt so you can see there and um, i'll also show you how this function looks like so this is the equation okay and these are the parameters ubw i parameters so i have initialized so you can see yeah so you can see that the simulated curve is basically approaching to the experimental value and we are obtaining the UBW parameters okay so you I go to the fit part so from here yes the dialog box is coming up so you can calculate this values UBW parameters okay and uh, this is for Gaussian component and the next is for the horizontal component I can I'll do like this so this is the behavior so I can put control Y so this is the equation 2 so this is user defined then this is Caligotti 2 this is the code so a y axis is a Lorentzian component of the void profile and this is the theta so this is the equation this is the parameter so let me fitted yeah so this is also fitted well so you can have both the parameters x and y these are the set parameters which you use in red bell refinement okay and uh, this using all this data like um, let me show you these are ubwi so let me show you the graph here so this is ubwi and uh, this is the first equation this is the second equation this is for gaussian and second one is for the lorentzian component okay so using this one you can go to the page number 131 of this full proof manual and there are different resolution means uh, 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 this instrumental resolution file you can use this format to put this data okay so i have done this basically for lanthanum hexaborate you can use your own standard like silicon or ethereum oxide so you can see uh, uh, in conclusion I would say that you need to calculate this parameters these are very essential parameters which are used in the red belt refinement process and uh, if you have any comments for uh, this video you can post it and I will be very much happy to answer that and um, thank you